Hey, 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 my name is Polish Links. And welcome to the freshest, freshest, fresh, freshest, the most fresh, whatever, the, the newest release from Triority. Welcome to Chichester, Master Tormentor Grendel Jinx, which is a second OVN. Let's begin. Secret Garish has been with us for a single month. Some of safety are given. As usual, I have to. You are finished custodians preserving the peace against the Council of the Ancient. Well, or so you believe. What looks good to the outside may be rotten to the core. What looks back on the surface may just be an illusion. I will repeat this. Why the text that you have the least amount of disappears the slowest. But the one that you have a crap ton of is like... Eh, you don't need to read this. Kinda annoying. Anyway. Uh, I was checking somehow some something and I don't remember what. Uh, anyway, mail as per usual. Because I'm one, so if I have a choice in the game. I don't always go this way, <laughs> but in here, yeah. Name, you know what the name. What? 6 a.m. Whatever. Early morning alarm. Did I just get like all the achievements? No, only 10 of them. Wait, what? I really didn't want to get up early, but today's special, just hope it all goes to plan. According to plan. Hmm. It's the 19th. Yeah, it is. That's when I'm recording. Today is going to be the Battle of Wills, which I'm pretty confident of winning. I will be having a nice, quiet day today. First stop. Get my stuff, all four items. Make sure the date is clearly visible on my mobile. And start recording. I'll do a monologue as I get everything done. If, as expected, Grenda starts using her self-expanding frying pans, I'll most likely forget a lot of what I was doing. So, recording everything will help. Well, here goes nothing. Grendel, are you in there? Good. Gordon may be a rude and lousy chef, but at least he seems to have kept his word to keep Grendel, Grendel busy. Wonder what he's doing, probably trying to kill her. Can't say I blame him, really. <laughs> Although, if he did, it would mean I'll be wasting my time doing this. We'll just have to take a chance on that. Huh. Anyone home? Her bedroom is surprisingly like mine. Actually, no, it's not surprising. Grand probably destroyed my original bed, so the new one would be similar to hers. It's surprisingly comfortable for. Anyway. No unwanted surprises here, in the form of her royal nuisance, so... Let's put this here, turn on top of this. This bulky one can go here. 
Ah, uh, forgot. She already had one of these. Ah, never mind. I think she will still like it. Finally, this. On her bedside table. All done. Now back to my room. Better put this key back in my bedside cabinet. Just in case I'll need it before tomorrow. Now to see if I can have a day of peace and quiet. Hopefully little Miss Nosy will be kept busy for a long while and away from me. So let's. I told you Gordon was a pushover, a few kicks and he was talking like anything. He's not going to be happy when he wakes up for... Pfft. We've got more important matters than dealing with a sleeping chef. When is the power cut going to kick in? Any second. Now. Good, good. We'll be able to stick up on Arthur and get all the information I want. He isn't going to be very happy about it either. Oh, didums. Ah, where's the penultimate step? I put blank bricks there just in case. Huh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah. Ah. Well, well, well. Look who dropped down on us. Grendel. Did you hurt yourself? Yes, I certainly did. What a pity. I seem to have managed to get myself tangled up somehow. Any chance of helping me get out of this mess? You want help? From me? For getting out of your little tangle? Yes, please. It's going to cost you. What? You've already got practically everything of mine. Oh, don't worry. There's nothing tangible as such. Really? Yeah, I just want to know something, namely. What are you up to? Aside from treading on painful plastic bricks and falling downstairs? Nothing. Hmm, are you sure? Yes, come on. Can you help me up, please? Yeah, tell me what you're planning first. What? <sighs> I'm not planning anything. I suppose I'm taking it correct as everything has already been planned. You're up to something. I'm going to find out what to. Why do you think I'm always up to something? Because Gordon said you were. The little snitch. Oh, don't blame him. Let's just say he met more trouble than he was expecting. Look, I need help. This position is very uncomfortable. No can do. Why? Because you're acting very suspiciously. But more importantly, I want the answer to a very important question. So it starts. Damn it. What question would that be? Of course, I'm pretty certain I know the question, but I'm not going to let Grendel know that I know what she wants to ask. I'll let her ask it in her own time. You'll find out soon enough. Oh no. Not that any unexpected Grendel will use her frying pan. Was hoping I was going to get out of this unskated for. But fortunately, I'll have my recording to be able to continue this little adventure. Unless she will find out. Oh no, indeed! <laughs> Was that really necessary? Not strictly, no, but it was fun. No, it wasn't. Plus, it kept Mr. Chatterbox quiet for a while. Which is good for everyone. Huh. You run down back stairs. I mean, back downstairs. And switch the lights back on. Ding. Then we'll get this porky lamp back to his room. Oh. Alright. Back shortly. Done. Good, pick up his legs and I'll grab the arms. And lift. 
Wow, he certainly isn't la a right a light a little light. I would like to say it's all down to muscle, but Oh wait what? Great. This team club is going to be fallen for sure. Stupid Americans. Anyway, I would be lying. Well, let's hurry up then. And I'm not. I wouldn't be lying. It really is going to fall at some t at some point. If those idiots will still be <sighs> the owners. You know what I'm talking about. The British team. One of the biggest team. That sucks in the past couple of years. Well, let's hurry up then. Okay, okay. Ah, damn it. What? I dropped his phone. Hope it's okay. Pick it up and find out. Phew, seems okay. Hmm? Now what? There is Mark in his calendar up as Operation Spo Small Screen. What's that? How should I know? What's so special about today? That he has to mark it in a calendar. Uh, who cares? Come on, cancel around muttering all day. We've got work to do. Operation Smokescreen.
throw him in the bed. Okay. Uh, that is one very springy bed. Hey, just look. Just how I like them. I think we should try placing him on the bed this time for... Yeah, it would be uh, far better. Probably just painful too. You reset the time his mobile to an hour ago and I'll do the same for the clock over here. Are you sure we need to? It will end a bit of uncertainty proceedings when he wakes up. Plus, he really hates getting up early. Having to do that during the holiday would really annoy him. But it's not. He won't know that for... <laughs> Alright, all done. Same here. Do, 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 do. Let's go and get ready for the next bit. Hey, I'm a bit hungry. You could get me a three course breakfast if you like. No. The Wild Hotel, Chichester, England. 8 a.m. Ah, uh, my head! Where is that sound coming from? My phone? Why would I set an alarm on my phone? What's the time? 6 a.m. Ah, far too early. Why is there a counter notification? What's this? Operation smoke screen? What the hell? Surely this must be someone else's phone. Nope, it's mine, alright. But what is Operation smoke screen? We'll have to think about it after visiting. Here. Okay, so. My phone again. Wait, wait, wait. What have we got here? Video recording has run out of storage space and can no longer continue. Eh? Oh, there be a video recording of what as well. Might also find out. Hello, Art. If you're watching this, then you're either dead and I will turn to wreck revenge on being given incredible food. I mean, inable edible food. Or more likely, you're curious about why I, you, recorded a video. The reason is simple, you want a day. Or diminue a few hours away from your arch nemesis, Grendel Jinx. Self proclaimed head of the evil, the Council of the Unseen. Uh, okay, I'm going to more domination, egocentric, megalomaniac, lazy, kleptomaniac, everything correct. Pension for pudding mix, probably, yes, yeah, she's the only reason. Yeah, it actually it is. Uh, why? Uh, she's the reason why your holiday initiation was changed? Yes. Despite the problem, she causes you are friends with her, somehow, which can be regrettable at times. A girl? No. A woman with a heart so black, it will give a black hole an inferiority complex. What are you doing today? I want you to buy me this. Let me eat your food too. Ah, a bank, let's rob it. Of a burst of address. Hey, why do you throw me in this trash can? I can't get out. <sighs> if only. If only. No doubt this fiendishly fiendish fiend has two equally evil partners helping her. No, she's not evil. How dare you? The deadly accurate. In historical matters, that is. It's the local tourist guide, CD, Cindy Eglantine. Or should I say Eglantine? Ah, whatever. History made it for to everyone. Predominant tourist guide, with tendency to get far too involved in her work. Also lectures about bricks at the nearby associational. Despite initial misunderstanding while we can pick and being forced to play a board game, Grand Cine get along very well. Sneak is also the reason your holiday plans were changed. She isn't. She's the reason your holiday after changing doesn't suck. Anyway, any stream of reality of the error we have. 
the hotel receptionist of this establishment. Uh, she doesn't think much of Grendel, even less of you. It's amazing that Grendel has managed to keep her room in the Violet Hotel. Perhaps the receptionist does have a heart after all. She does have a name, but he will have to play the first of the end to find out what it is. <laughs> Sneaky devil. Uh, I can't actually think what she would say in a situation like this. Ah, oh, hang on, just thought of something. Hey you! You're one minute late for curfew! Nothing but saggy bread for your breakfast tomorrow! What do you mean you've used up all this oil at all? That should last for free! No, four months! W one roll for four months? What? How? Together they are going to do everything to stop you from completing your mission. Damn it. But what is it? No doubt you'll be wondering what your mission is. Yes. It's simple. Always good to hear. Looking for a bit of peace and quiet, huh? I think so. For normal people, too easy. No, dark eyed. Mmm. You know what? It's not really true. Unfortunately, we have the pleasure of knowing Grendel. Grendel would let you walk out of this building and start exploring without a lot of problem. Aside you, we, ma, whatever, have set something up to give you extra ammunition in your endeavors. No matter how much Grendel exists, don't answer her questions. She'll work herself into the right state and when she's at her most vulnerable, tell her to go to her room. Go to her room? I'm pretending to be a parent now. Before we start going downstairs and towards the main entrance, look in Grendel's room. That will explain everything. I don't have the... It's in the bedside cabinet. Oh... Ah, so it is. Don't forget to give it back to the cleaning mat tomorrow. One final thing. There is something in the bottom drawer that you may find useful in getting through your day. You could say uh, it may give your relationship with Grendel a bit of a jolt. <laughs> is it a taser? Open. Huh? What's this? Blue diamond shapes. Okay, I have no clue. I do hope this isn't what it looks like. Ah, so we decided to use it. I haven't decided anything yet. Why am I talking to a recording of myself? Use this and Grendel won't know what hit her, especially near the end. Near the end? Near the end of what? The, you have to chew on it. It tastes horrible, apparently, but it's part of the test. Have I always been this weird? Why would I? You're probably wondering why I got that. Yeah? It's called being prepared. <laughs> I, well, well, we, well, you know. Uh, okay, me think. Have known Grendel long enough to know that being sneaky and occasionally underhanded is the only way to deal with her. Plus, it has the added advantage of really annoying her. Don't remember buying this? Perhaps Grendel is frying pan cost a lot of memory loss. Oh, well, I'm sure I bought it for a good cause. So, what are you going to do? Investigate the drawer further. Mm, there is a leaflet here. I think it's the instructions for this tablet thingy. What shall I do? I can read it. Let's see what the instructions are. Oh my god, no. You know what, fuck it. Blah 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 blah. Uh, I didn't really read it. <laughs> okay, let's see. Package for the user. Of, uh, uh, you may need to read it again. Side effects, okay. Blah, blah, blah. Resistance, what to use. You need to know. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Oh, it's a... Oh, tablets. Okay. Peels, basically. Ah. Uh. Okay, peels that do something, what the, whatever. Yeah, I read it. Let's let's say I did. Boring. In addition, I don't like the amount of rubbish in the ingredients. After all, my body is a temple. Yeah, right. But if it enables me to beat Grendel in whatever form that takes, then it may be useful. Uh, take them. Here we go.
Oh, it tastes like cabbage. It's not feeling different, so I suppose it's working. Okay then, now get out there and enjoy the day. Oh, by the way, your clock and the bedside clock are at the wrong time. They were altered to honor you a bit. Fortunately, it reactivated the alarm on the phone. So, set them both to the real time as soon as possible. Whoa, well, I'm the wrong person. That was so inspirational. But why did I embellish everything? After all, seeing the other and the hotel receptionists aren't that bad. Let the battle commence. Wait, what? Japanese model marries a gamer whom she met in the arcade? Ladies and gentlemen, I need tickets to Japan. And shit ton of coins. For the arcade. This guy is literally living the dream. Kind of. I don't really understand what's going on, but apparently I was going to have a day on my own. Why couldn't I do that in my room for? Hmm, no one around. And there is the front entrance. Locked. Well, I did predict that, I think. Let's try the exit at the back. Nope. So, what now? Jump! Going somewhere? Ah, uh, Grandel. That's me! Not what ah, I clicked outside the box. Where are you? In the hotel's security office. Ah, so they found discovered who has been stealing all the knives and forks then. Shut up! We've always been pretty sure it was Grendel. The receptionist. I am only here to make sure she doesn't drop crumbs all over the equipment. I'm <laughs> See? You're making a mess! Oh, and another reason I'm here is because I want to see you humiliate yourself. It will be a laugh. I am only here because Grendel insisted. Cindy! What was that? Ah, that was nice. I said you were being paid well. No, we're not being paid well. In fact, we're not being paid at all. I thought I said you'll be paid! No, you said we'll be kicked. Oh yeah, I think I mentioned that too. So? So? Considering we're working all night to get everything up and running, I think we deserve some compensation. Oh, good point. Are there? Yeah. Could you give Cindy and the receptionist some financial compensation, please? <sighs> I ever spent on getting a device ready, and apparently people seem to think they need to get paid for work. What device? You know what, Grendel is basically any freaking kind of... Uh, of employee. Empl no, of employer. Wait, employee or employer was it? Employer, I think. Right? Yeah, she's basically every kind, not every kind, every single employer uh, that I got the pleasure of or unpleasure of working with. Would you be able to help a poor financial trouble young girl out of trouble? What shall I say? No way! What?! I'm not giving you my money to make up for your budgeting problems. Besides, it's not often I got to see any money before you stole it away. Good point, good point. Uh, wait a minute. Do this and this and... So I won't get to see any money this time either, will I? 
lovely day we're having, is it? <sighs> you've got your, what you've wanted, so can I go now? Oh, no, 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 no! Why not? I still need you to answer one very small question. What question is that? Why not yesterday and you were talking to that old garden? Ah, uh, so that's what I was doing yesterday. For an extending setup for a person like Grendel, being ignored would really hurt. But I can't think why would I would, why I would do it. What's even more annoying is you were giving him money. I don't remember doing that, but obviously I did. That should have been my money. You already had my money. Not all of it for not the money you gave to Gordon. <sighs> so I do came. So why did you ignore me? <sighs> wait. If wait, 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 wait. She goes into weird state if we don't answer her questions. Not going to say. Oh really? Yeah, it's for me to know and you to complain about. So they're going to tell me, huh? No. Now, if you could not lock the doors, I can carry on with my day and leave you free in peace. <laughs> no! You're going to give me the correct answer! How do you know if I was being truthful or not? Uh, it's time for... The Truth Analyzer! It can't actually tell if you're telling the truth or not, for, but we couldn't decide on what to call the contraption. Ah, you gave the game away! <sighs> Are you sure about this? Yeah, I need an answer and this is the way to do it. We say the reception is and yourself spent all night putting it together so don't So don't you want to see it in action? I know I do. Great, thanks. No problem. In that case let's get it activated. Huh? What the hell is this Grendel? Except making sure you can move the props will give you an electric shock. Every time you refuse the answer you can increase the voltage. Eventually, it will get so painful. It will get so painful. You'll be begging to tell me the answer. Yeah, I think you underestimate me, Grendel. I had stopped it. I don't like this, Grendel. <laughs> Nothing can go wrong. I feel like everything can go wrong. Tell me why you ignored me. What's with the noises? None of your business. You're being more stubborn than usual. I've learned that from you, Grendel. Well, you know what that means. Hmm. Why do you ignore me? Uh, what did I say? None of your business earlier? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, you must be joking. I'm not telling you. Are you going to tell me? Sorry, no. Well, you know what that means. This is different. Why do you ignore me and talk to Garden? Are you going to tell me? No. Well, you know what that means. It isn't bad at all. The tablet certainly seems to be working well. Come on, tell me why I was ignored. So, if you tell me then. Yes. Well, you know what it means. I could get used to this. Tell me, tell me! None of your business. Sir, if you tell me, yes. Well, you know what it means. Broken recording, basically. Your is getting annoying. Why do you ignore me? Boop. Sir, if you tell me, yes. Well, you know what it means. Can't you be a bit quicker, Randall? Huh? Is that. Is what? Dead! Oh, that's just perverted! I just hope no one comes and sees what he's doing. I think I'm beginning to remember the reason why. I can't spend all day doing this, tell me! No way, I'm telling you. Aren't you going to tell me? Sorry, no. Well, you know what it means! More. More! You know what you want to tell me? Not going to tell you. Refuse to tell me! Yeah! Well, you know what it means! Yes! Why do you got me? Just in case I'm dead, okay? Did. Aren't you going to tell me? No! Well, you know what it means! 
This is great. This is your last chance. Tell me why you ignore me. No business. Are you going to tell me? Nope. Well, you know what it means. <laughs> I think you should stop now, Grandel. Why? I'm just getting started. Grandel, look at him. Hey, why? That does not like someone who is finding the whole thing painful. Oh, that does that does not look like. Okay. <laughs> it looks like he could drool for America. Uh, no. Look a bit further down on the floor. <laughs> that looks like. Yeah, he's having a very good time. Come on, Grendel, torture me. <laughs> torture me like I've never tortured anyone before. <laughs> Alright, I will. No, Grendel, don't. Oh, yeah. That hit the spot. Oh, yeah. I think. I think I'm going to. Oh, yeah. In reality, man, don't do fat noises like that, okay? What? What just happened? Uh, you don't know? No, what? <laughs> uh, how can I put this? I want more. Let's just say that Arthur derived far more pleasure from your contraption than is humanly possible. It has to go somewhere. In this case, on the floor. <laughs> this is annoying! Or oh, Grendel. More. 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 No, you're not taking this seriously! I'm taking this very seriously. <laughs> Let me show you how serious. Ah! Uh. Oh, that's it. I'm out of here. I'll let you deal with this pervert. What? Yeah, I better get going to work tomorrow and all that. Oh no, you don't. You're helping me. What? Why? Because I say so. Uh. Let's release him from the clumps. Oh. Still feeling it. Huh. Ah! Uh. You take Mr. Giggler back to his room, dump him in the shower. Oh, and you better put that back in. You want me to do that? Yeah, or do you want to answer weird questions on the way to the top floor? <sighs> Must be some glows around here. In the meantime, I better clean up the space before anyone has an accident. There must be a sign somewhere. Ah, here we are. Well, better get over there and start cleaning. What a mess. Well, yet I got my wish to be alone. Although not exactly how I imagined it. Well, that's what happens when you take any old tablet that's laying around. In a few days, I think I should be able to show my face around here again. Game complete. Mm. Okay, I didn't expect to be done with this game so fast. Where is the rest of it? <laughs> kidding, just kidding. But yeah, after the previous two... It was... Sorry, kind of a nice change. We are excited to unveil Half-Life Alex, our flagship VR game, this Thursday at 10 a.m. Pacific time. Can't wait to share with all of you. What? Yeah. I don't sleep, don't care. First of all, I don't have VR. Second of all, I'm not basically a fan of Half Life. I played it on YouTube. Late, very late after the release. They honestly didn't 
understand the love for it. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not, not anything great as well. Anyway, why am, I, why am I deriving from the... Well, game we are playing. We were playing. Because we are finished with the story, apparently. Uh, yeah, okay, so... Getting electroshocked. I wonder if getting electroshocked can cause what's actually happened over here. I don't, okay, I don't want to know. I definitely would not like to know. You will return in Welcome to Tester 2, Part 2, The Regrets for the Future. We've already played it in early access, Pa! So it's not true that we'll return. Here is to tomorrow. Text keeping is now allowed. Super Secret Achievement Hunter mode is now available. Super... S okay. Anyway. I uh, will go and grab four more achievements by myself. One of them I must cheat with again by changing the date on the PC. Not the first time I had to do that. Two hidden achievements, which I don't know what are about, but I will find out. Super secret and this. Okay, this one will be easy to get. And anyway. For now, hope you enjoy it. And well, tomorrow we are moving to next game, I think. I don't know what game yet, but we'll move there, probably. Anywho, see you. Hope you enjoy it. I did. Bye bye.